hey guys this is form lord and i'm recording video of thing after a long time or i think two or three months sorry for that i was out of the station because some of because of my tournaments so but i'm back here and recording a new video so this video is going to look on the bullet drills you will get this video something like this at the end of the, this video so before we can really work on a bullet drill i will introduce my project so before we first thing we look on is my i have a player capsule in this player capsule i technically have a two gun if you look properly there are two revolvers here uh, which comes under the player capsule and player camera root and also comes right on the left arm so my left revolver is going to be left arm and right revolver in the right arm okay and so first thing you need to get a uh, bullet trail we need first to define the place where the bullets are coming from technically i am using a recast system for the shooting purpose but in order to get a bullet trail you need to make it look like it's a physical so we need to set the muzzle point somewhere here so it's still is coming from here so inside the revolver if you look i have a muzzle a muzzle game object which just an empty transform which stores some positions that, so where it is in the world space you can look it's just here i just try to make it a little bit here you can look you can adjust the position depending on your needs and also i have a muzzle on the left side too because there are two game objects two weapons in left here now if you define your muzzle position we can create a bullet trail so you can always right click in the hard key and go to the effects and a trail it's going to create a new trail here if you look i can move around it's working around here you can always look at so i already created some trail here and you can look on the settings i've set the minimum width to 0 0.10 it's just uh, all you can just play on the width of this value i prefer it to be this something like what this smaller also time very smaller and also using my own custom particles sorry custom materials you can go with your own always and after creating bullet drill you need to make sure this thing is already converted into your uh, prefab so prefab is something look like this we're going to spawn this bullet trail into the, our main scenes and then we're going to just move this trail to the hit point so it is going to create a, a trail like effects and that's what we need so first thing first we need to create a new script or you can just add this code into your if, uh, already existing script but i'm going to create a new script if you look i have player capsule and I, all the script is attached to my player capsule so in this i'm going to have a bullet trail effect script i'm going to open in visual studio come on okay now in this here you can look here i have a game object a bullet trail as a game object and a fun custom method which is going to take the spawn point where this bullet is going to be spawn and hit point where this bullet is going to be hit then i'm going to spawn this uh clone now here it's, it's very optional you can use the instance here or go with the object pooling i recommend it with the object pooling because it's much more performant but for the simplicity sake i'm going to use the instance here, here. so instance is going to create a new blade trail at the spawn point position and the the uh, rotation we're going to give is going to be the rotation of the bullet trail i don't going to play on the rotation just go with the default rotation and this thing going with, and we're going to call this function whenever we're going to shoot. So this is a custom word. So we first we have cloned this, create a clone of it. Now whenever you're going to be shoot, we also need to make sure this bullet going to go forward in direction. Uh, that in the direction we're going to be going to be hit. So for this we have a vector to hit point. And uh, one more thing to look here. If you look uh, down here. I have a move trail, a script move called move trail here. This script is actually attached to the our bullet trail. So if you look uh, prefab and I'm going to prefab bullet trail. If you scroll down, I have a one script called move trail. This script is attached to the our trail here. So whenever the script, whenever there is trail instance here in the scene, this is going to be responsible for the moving in the first direction. Let's see what's really happening inside here. Okay, here we have a public three, a vector three hit point destination will going to be, and a time needed to reach. How much time is required to reach? And for this, I'm 
Now in order to move it, I'm going to use the lean twin, which you get by on the win Windows package manager. And if you search for the lean twin, you could get it. I have in my assets already. You can search on the assets tool and get this. I give the link of this in description. So you can download it and install it. So after installing, you always need to get the class lean twin. And from this lean twin, you need to call a method called move. This move method going to take the current game object and the way you need to go uh, said a uh, two so we need test easy and a time required to reach that position okay and after we move then we also make sure that this game object should be destroyed we don't need a clone here and there uh, so we need to make sure we get this game object and the time after it reached we are also going to add some more time to give it to destroy uh, on the safe side we're going to destroy it so if the time is 0 0.1 one second is going to be destroyed after 0 0.11 seconds and then okay so you also make sure you go past the trail dot hit point but so you don't make this field as a zero so you have to give some value here so i'm going to pass this value the value when we call this function and i get this value we're going to pass the value to hit trail dot hit point which we'll get from here okay and whenever we shoot before we shoot actually we're going to need two objects called a muzzle and the bullet trail effect you can get this bullet trail effect either by the inspector or using the get component after you get this you need to make sure the trail effect dot create bullet trail which is going to create a bullet trail here and pass the muzzle the spawn point of it and hit points where does going to be hit after doing all of this you get going to work as fine so i have a player capsule so make sure your pistol uh, weapon has the muzzle position assigned to the muzzle and the bullet trail has the bullet component bullet trail as well. and inside the bullet trail you need to make sure that you set the time needed to reach the destination will be uh, by smaller value I prefer to have a 0 0.1 second but you can give, go with your old value okay and also then if I try to play the game and also make sure my all references are filled it's very safe to play if I play and try to look around here it's going to work like a bullet trail is working you can look my bullet trail is going as smooth if i try to increase the our time need to reach by one second you can take a space go very slow and it's good. so make sure you have a very small time interval so it's you can make the bullet trail movements look more good by using the animation curve in the move trail so the good thing about the lean tool you can customize the movement or Tweening by the using animation code. So we can probably create could create a public animation curve of it is animation curve and let's name it curve for simplicity. And then after the end of the function, we need to set the set ease to the curve. You can also use this predefined set ease time, but I'll go with my own curve. This this cause look better, much better. And if you now check the bullet trail, it's have the curve here. You can use the, some custom design curve and to play the game. It's going to result in different thing, different way. So let's try to shoot here and and look. The result going to look more clear when it's slow, when there's a high time frame. So you can always use different curves. So here it is your bullet trail working your game.